What is going on, guys? It is your boy TKD. Once you're back in Blazing Source, this is, of course, episode six of Road to Miles Morales: Return of the Jedi episode. This is, of course, the weekly podcast series about any and all things Spider-Man Miles Morales as we head towards the release of Spider-Man Miles Morales for the PS4 and, of course, the PS5. With me, my luxurious co-host, the Arachne. How are you doing, good sir? I'm doing well. How are you? Um. I think we're all kind of on edge right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> a, a little bit. For, a wee bit. For like a, multi- for a multitude just a of reasons. Stressful. Just just a little bit. But, of course, chiming in. Uh, if we were all at a real studio, I would imagine Tyrell, Tyrell would be on my right. I'm not sure why, but over here to my right, the slim, not shady one. Tyrell Dudley, how are you doing, good sir? Oh, just fantastic. Having mm. a great morning. Woke mm. up, got a cup of coffee, cool. banana. Mm. Went outside, mm-hmm. enjoyed the view. <laughs> Wrote a haiku. Wrote a haiku. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Reflected on pain, anguish, and tragedy. <laughs> and elections. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, y'all. Um, obviously, if you're watching this, of course, uh, and, and you're in the U.S., uh, we are recording this on Wednesday, November 4th. It's a very tight race right now. Um, it could literally go either way. But uh, nonetheless, hope you voted. You know what I'm saying? Hope you uh, did your due diligence as an American citizen. And if you didn't, there's always next election. Unless we all die. So, there is that. But uh, besides all that, you you can catch us over here on YouTube.com. Says Plays and Source. As well as your favorite podcast service every Saturday. By hitting the anchor link down below to find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Podcasts, Spotify, and any other major podcast service, or by just searching Place in Source Podcast Feed. To support the show, you can, of course, like and subscribe, as well as become a member of the channel by hitting the join button or the link in the description. Uh, where am I? Oh, my God. Guys, I'm losing it. Here we go. The <laughs> Prince tier for $1. And the King tier for $5 gives you access to different channel badges, emotes, as well as shouts and all pieces as content just like the homies, Arachnite, Chungi, Owen, Tepiwa Musa. I'm missing one. Caleb Jesus. Kaiser? Caleb fucking Kaiser. The How old can you KK. Caleb? You hate to see Don't it. Don't add a third one. I actually like him a lot. He's a he's a he's a he's a good dude. I missed the stream series because I because after Resident Evil 7, you know. I decided, you know what, let me just take a little break, and we'll pick it up strong with Spider-Man. The stream series is back, but I do miss streaming on the channel. It's been at least two weeks, so we'll be back, though. We'll be back next week. And, of course, follow us on other platforms such as Discord and Twitter down below in the description as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Episode 6, the Spider-Man Miles Rouse Bets episode. Of course, this is integral to any Road 2 series. We do a bets episode, okay? We get some bets going. We get some wagers going. We still have to decide what we are wagering on. But before we get to all of that, what games have we been playing? Arachnite, we both been playing a game that I really want to talk about with you because I did beat this game. I know. I saw. Did you beat this game as well? Absolutely. L- guys, I, we need to have a chat, okay? Let's just sit, let's just sit down. We have a campfire going. You know, there's some pines behind us. When the wood, let's just let me tell you a story, okay? Ghost Runner is one of the best indie games of the year. I don't even know if I can call it an indie because it's being published by 505 Games. Uh, it's developed by what is it? Level up or one level? Uh, one more what level. One more level, right? What are they in? This is a this is a indie game. I, believe I guess you so, could. Yes. Yeah, hundred percent. Listen, I know Hades came out right, and I've been having a great time with Hades. I haven't played it since last week because I wanted to be Ghost Runner, um, because that was a more contained, you know, shorter experience than Hades. And I love Hades as well. I think Hades is also in the running for best indie this year. But Ghost Runner, holy shit, Arachnite! It's so good. What a fucking game, man! Oh my god, dude, I loved it. It was so fun, bro. I, so fun. They add so many more moves towards the end of the game that really just take it up a notch in terms of, you know, looking at enemies differently, which enemies are stronger that you used to avoid. But now it's like, hey, they could be an asset. Like, I don't want to spoil it, but it's it's fantastic. What do you think, Arachnite? It is. It is exhilarating. It's a, it's a mix of 
almost everything that I enjoy in games. Like, I'm a simple dude. You you give me like fast pace, like action and fast pace action, some wall running, like some parkour stuff, and a grappling hook, and I'm sold. I'm there. Like it it is a blast to play. Like once you get good at the movement, it feels like a whole other game from where, when you started because I, I was playing through it again. <laughs> And you can, like, I've learned a few things that make you move so much faster throughout the map. Like, if you do a slide jump on a corner, or not a corner, a slide jump on, like, the edge of a platform, you go flying. Same thing if you do a dash. And mm -hmm. you can use that to propel yourself towards enemies and, you know, dispatch them. Because they can't, they can't trace your character, they can't shoot at you if you're moving too quickly. So what I've been trying to do as a self-imposed challenge is like an ultra nightmare run of Go Ghost Runner. Uh, one death and it's over. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, like for for every level? Yeah. Like, huh. I've seen people okay. do that for The Last of Us Two, and I just got to say, why? Yeah. yeah no. For like a thirty-hour permadeath run on part why two. Why do on, that? To yeah. Yourself? No. Yes. It's the it's reason I do it is like I don't know I don't know how this sounds, but it's like I want to see if I can do it. Like I, if I have like the the grit to get through the hardest difficulty on my first try. The old guts and the gumption, as one might say. Mm -hmm. You know. And speaking the of old. Ultra Nightmare, I finished the Ancient Gods on Ultra Nightmare. Hold up. Before we get to that, yeah. I gotta say one more thing. May I? Go, Please, go. I'm sorry. No, I insist. Ghost, Ghost Runner also encapsulates the vibe that I was thinking I would get with Cyberpunk. To be fair, I haven't played Cyberpunk. I won't be playing it until next year with the PS5 update. But Arachnite, the fucking soundtrack in Ghost Runner. It bops. Is, it is almost per. It is, per dare I say, perfect. It's such a like the if there was ever a cool aspect to a game, this game is one of the coolest games I've ever played. It is literally two a t first person, uh, Katana Zero. Yeah, you know, and it's fantastic for that. It's a great game. You all should check it out. Thirty bucks. Big fan of it. It has a uh, free upgrade to next gen as well. It's a great time. But please go ahead. Tell me more about Doom's DLC. Um, brutal. Mm. It mm. is, it is what it sounds like. It is an ultra nightmare. It is, like I've talked about it before on this show and uh, Road to PS Five. It is brutal. If you thought Doom Eternal was difficult, this is another step up. Mm. It feels like whatever you play Doom Eternal on, add one or two difficulties to it, and then there there's the Ancient Gods. Because you'll be fighting two Marauders at the same time, an enhanced Cybermancubus, 100 imps, a Tyrant, uh, just uh, Barons of Hell, all at the same time. Hmm. Hmm. Like, you need... All of your synapses will be firing <laughs> throughout the course of the DLC. Like, it is... It is hectic, It's but it's a lot of fun. It took me a few tries. I died a lot on the first level just trying to get through it. But after figuring out and getting in that flow, I just made it. Mm. You know the, uh, the saving throw rune? Yes, yes. Triggered at the beginning of the final boss of the DLC. The very beginning, as soon as it started, I messed up. Ugh. Yikes. So I I was sweating the Yikes. entire time. <laughs> Yikes. Oh. So man. I made it I've, I made it with the skin on my teeth. Sorry. Man. No, I mean like I'm I'm definitely interested in at least going for the DLC when PS5 comes around for uh, Doom Eternal. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um and th this is the Part one, there's a there's a second yeah. part coming as well. Yes. Eventually? Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. But overall, 
you give it a little thumbs up, all that good stuff. Is there something that you want changed or like brought into the second part when they eventually come out with that? It's too easy. Make it a little harder. Yeah, that's what I heard. I so I listened to Sacred Symbols, right? PlayStation podcast with Colin Moriarty and uh, Chris Reagan. And uh, Chris Reagan, huge Doom fan, especially Doom Eternal fan. Uh, he was saying that he thought at a certain point that Marauders, since they there weren't really any changes to them, that they became almost really boring to handle. Even though at first during during his original play through the game back in March or whatever it was. Um, you know, he was saying that they were super difficult, but now that you know how to handle them, which is what one precision shot and then the shotgun blast, yeah, and you do that twice and you're done with the Marauders. Well, uh, you know? it's it's the um, the ballista, right? It's it's super shotgun blast ballista back and forth. I don't uh-huh. know what difficulty he played it on, but it's way more than two on Nightmare. <laughs> It, oh, okay, so, okay. So maybe it's my yeah, right. Okay, okay. It so takes maybe diff- on diff- nightmare. It takes like six. Well, yeah, huh? Interesting. He was he was just saying that like he felt that it was like a little bit boring, which is why I wanted to tie that to what you said. How like you thought it was a little bit too easy? Yeah, the Marauder is definitely like they added a buffed Marauder, where he moves twice as fast and does twice as much damage. And that wasn't that one was hard, but after beating him the first time, the buff marauder I can do on the first try with almost no issue. After trying it over and over and finally getting it, mm. so the two marauders at the same time were also nothing. I I, I like I, I was joking when I said like oh it's too easy it's obviously difficult like especially on nightmare and ultra nightmare, but. It, it does become a little formulaic, at least with the Marauders. Everything yeah. else, every encounter will play out a different way. So that that is something that is a staple to the Doom franchise, except for like the beginning of E1, M1, all the way back in Doom 1. But other than that, if you haven't played it, play it. It is... If you like Doom Eternal, this is just more of that, and there's nothing wrong with that. And the soundtrack bops. Like Mick Gordon isn't back, but I I really really enjoy the soundtrack. You love to hear it and see it. Love to see it. Love to see it. Um, if you've seen on Twitter, I'm also playing Bugs Nights, but of course that is embargoed. I can't tell you that I'm playing Bugs Nights, but that is about all I can say. Uh, if you want to see the home screen, you can check that out on Twitter as well because I was allowed to share that. But everything else, uh, just 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 keep on the channel at a later date. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not sure if I can say when the embargo day ends, but it'll it, it'll be coming very very soon, very very soon. Is uh, I think about all I can say. But uh, to real, any games you've been playing? I know you started that, uh, I think it was a uh, MLB Discord, I think. Uh, Madden. Madden. Matt, damn, I'm an idiot. Close. <laughs> Close. Uh, we're, we're on week four now. I'm mm. two and one. Okay. Uh, week one, I lost to Jose in overtime. It was very disappointing. You see, but Jose's a bum, so it's okay. He, he is one and two right now after that. And then my mm. next two opponents, I slaughtered them. So mm. Mm. that feels good. But, you know, we're going in with confidence. I have to play combat later today. Destiny arrives all the same. Indeed. Yeah. So, may the better man win. And that's all you've been playing for the most part? Yeah. Yeah, just that's that and then Spider-Man Late Night. Mm. Play Ghost mm. Runners. Yo. Ghost Runner is fucking great. Yeah, play play <laughs> Ghost Runner. Ghost Runner is fucking funny shit. But uh, other than that, uh, I was looking through the news, gentlemen. And there wasn't a lot of news, but we can hit on one news bit that was in last episode, but we never got your two gentlemen's impressions on the news because uh, it came out on Friday. Uh, so I recorded by myself, so it was still in last week's episode. But how are we feeling about the Spider-Verse suit? Spider-Verse suit is coming day oh, one to tremendous. those at pre-order. Yep. So oh, now so good. you're going to have to pre-order to get a day one, but it will be coming to everyone regardless of pre-order at a later date um, but you'll get it first with pre-order it does also come with a mod for that suit that puts your animations in like 12 frames or 24 frames with, I think it was 12 frames um, for the way Spider-Man moves to make it look a little bit more like the movie 
and uh, it's looking great. Gentlemen, what are your thoughts? What's not to love? Yeah, no. There's there, yeah, there's no reason not to like it. Yeah. yeah I, I thought it looked really good. Oh, yeah, no. It's, like, I remember I was following Spider-Man PS4 really closely when when the game was releasing, and I remember, like, Brian Intahar talking about just how passionate the studio was about the character like they got a choice at any marvel character and it was like almost like unanimously spider-man so you could definitely see that like i i can definitely see the the passion for for this game and for spider-man ps4 and how the game plays how the game looks how they how the characterization is for everybody and it's phenomenal like it's you can tell that people that love Spider-Man made this game. Mm. And mm. you can see it in the attention to detail, like the 12 frames per second movement to simulate the movie. I Like just small details like that that most people really wouldn't notice. But to those that can and th those that do, that's that really does just, you know, make, make you smile. It's like, yes, like there are people like me out there that love this character as passionately as I do. Mm. So, mm. like, props to everybody in Insomniac. I can't wait to play. I'm excited. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And and just to clarify, uh, because I was wondering this too, the suit mod for the frames, you can take that off and have it running in full motion. And you okay. can also put that mod on any other suit in the game as well. Oh. So... You can mix and match that mod. You don't have to have it on. Um, because I was a little bit like, oof, like, is that frame rate on the Spider-Verse suit permanently? Like, I absolutely make sense, right? And it looks dope as hell. But I wouldn't want to play that way, like, the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a me thing. I want, I want all the frames. All the smooth movements. Even if it doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? But that's honestly all the news we got. Re Revolving Spider-Man, Miles Rods. Once again, we are very, very close to launch. Uh, next week is First Impressions, my boys. And also, we are so close that I'm holding a dual sense right now. I don't mean to flex, but... Uh, you are flexing. flexing. I just... That's not even a guys, subtle flex. Yeah. He's been posted about it, like, every day. Y'all, it is fantastic. This, this controller feels great. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to feel the tension in the uh, triggers <laughs> when I'm shooting out a web as Miles... It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. All right, let's let's put the dual sense down a little bit, Kev. Let's get back to business. This is, of course, the bets episode. Uh, this is very sacred to Row Two series, ain't that right, Iraq Knight? I mean, you take it very seriously. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, we have Metacritic locked down already. We have a series of ten different questions and a bonus that I would employ everyone watching to also play along with us. Get some friends. You know what I'm saying? Use our bets or maybe make up your own bets and do some wagers. But the important thing about a bet episode is that we got to figure out the winner's stipulations, all right? So what will the winner get? Before all right. We, yes, go ahead. Before we talk about the winner, like I just because you mentioned like how close we are to the PS5, the PS5 is like, yo Naughty Dog, I really need you to release factions right now. Yeah, what so okay, I lose I lose on the on the 13th. As soon as really? it, yeah, no, we said PS5. From the day the PS5 releases onward, you win. Holy shit! I, I thought I was betting it'll come out before PS5. Am I wrong in that? No, I thought I was. I was like, I was like, I you mean, know what? It'll be a the PS5. Like, it's like June, know, like I'm, June I'm, to I'm November. Like, come, that's five months. I'm checking the archives. Then, I really hope. Then we got a pandemic. Oh my god. I need a prop. Okay, I have properly now archived these, but the last was bets. I have the episode. Did I put it in the, in the description? Knowing me, I damn well did it. Mmm. I, I, I'm gonna have to check into that. Shoot. I think. I don't know. No, remember, because I was, I was gonna lose. Okay. And you, is like, I was, it was four to five. Right. And it's like, if Factions comes out, because that was the only one that was up in the air, 
That okay. was my end game. That was my like one Earth where I we win. Okay, like if it comes out before PS Five. Yeah. Right. Okay. So. Oh shit! I do. Okay, I do re- remember now. Right. So Naughty so, Dog, I'm gonna need you to release factions right now today. And <laughs> that's the only pending bet, right? Yeah, that's it. If like if even and the the stipulations for that were like if if I were to win that bet question. We'd be 5-5, five, five, and we would duel in factions. Yes, yes, right. So the Ghost of Shishima one's all dealt with, right? Yes. There's no any upstanding. Yeah, uh, that we, one was we were tied, and I won because of the I won because of the popular vote. Yes, because of the popular vote. Yes, yes. How the election should be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. How, how any how any election should be won, but I digress. Gentlemen, we gotta discuss what the winner is awarded here typically it's a 60 dollar game you know what i'm saying or just a full price game or whatever but i'm gonna let arachnite no sorry i'm gonna let to give us a little insight on what he would like the award to be you know what i'm saying if you have any other curveballs you want throw at us you know i'm gonna be really honest okay i am starving right now (laughs) so my answer is a bacon egg and cheese from my local bodega (laughs) <laughs> I, 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 highlight, I highlighted it in the Google Doc. I don't I don't even know if I have a I mean I have a local bodega but I don't know if they sell bacon egg and cheese. I have to imagine they do, but yeah. I don't know. I I've I don't have never any been there I don't anymore. have a bodega near me. Like it is mine's a, mine's a, a fake ass bodega, but You're talking about uh what is it, the bagel place, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely not bodega, but hey, you know what? Close enough. Fuck it. I'm on Happy Valley. I'll take what I can get. Yeah, it's close enough. We're going we're gonna Happy Valley Road. It's very close enough. But, hmm. I mean, yeah, you know, a big thing Jesus is cool, Billy, but do you want to lock that I in? Just, like, I wanna... No, I just was not expecting a, a, mm. a $60 game. That's not what I was expecting. We go we go hard here. We we write those off. Those are business expenses. Yeah, we, we, we definitely pulled up for this. Huh. Because, I mean... Me and Arachna have another separate PS5 bet that we got to figure out later. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be a whole other thing. So. L huh. after L. Like, you lose two bets. Yeah, it's L. like, <laughs> it, it would suck if me or Arachna have to buy it twice. Oh, but also, how does it work with three people now? Because there's only one winner. So this. No, do, not, not. The two losers have to. Not two yeah. 60s. Yeah, that's yeah, that's well. Yeah, how about no, like that's not fair. Like, like a twenty dollar PSN card or like a or like a a twenty dollar like Steam card or whatever. I say twenty dollars to the platform of their choosing. AKA, yeah. if it's too complicated, just Venmo twenty dollars, Apple Pay twenty dollars. Like the wager is twenty dollars because there's three of us. Yeah, I'm you know cool. What I'm, I'm cool with twenty okay. bucks. Yeah, which would mean in theory. If like let's say to real wins, that's right? forty bucks. Both both me and Arachnid give him twenty. Yes, precisely. Yes. So the winner gets forty dollars, but twenty from each loser. What if there's a tie? Then we're gonna have then, to like every other bet episode. Do we fight, yeah, do we fight to the death. There's there's always a fucking tie. Uh, <laughs> there's always a tie. What is it like? Oh man. Oh man. All right. We'll, so we'll winner figure is it out. Uh, we'll do yeah, a popular we, vote, I guess. Like, was like, who do you yes. think is the one? If it ends up being a tie, we defer to popular vote via Twitter poll for 24 hours approximately. All right? $40 is awarded and then we have to, to... We have to campaign on Twitter as to why we deserve the $20. Nope. Yes. I... <laughs> I I I've made my case throughout these episodes to any and all who have been watching. If it were to be a tie amongst us, I have made... I have... I have campaigned enough. I've talked about Spider Man for hours. You have. But have you talked about Betty? Mm. Have I talked about bug snacks? Talking about bug snacks. All right, gentlemen, I'm going to read the out snacks. the. I'm going to read out the award. Pain. The winner is awarded forty dollars. To the winner. Yes, the winner is awarded forty dollars based off of twenty dollars per loser. Gentlemen. Are we okay with those winning stipulations? Yeah. Sounds great to me. You're. 
Okay. Do we want to do anything fancy with the bonus? Is a bonus just an extra point? Is an extra two points? Do we do we want to make it spicy and make it extra two points? You know what I'm saying? Um. I, I say one point. Like yeah. okay, okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right. But just yeah, keep, we, keep it consistent, like the other bets. You're right. Absolutely. Okay. So the bonus is just one extra point that could change everything. Yes. Who knows? That's how I won ghosts. Literally. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. All right. So to go over, of course, the Metacritic score bets, we have Metacritic of 86 from Arachnite, 83 from Tereal, and an 89 from TKD. All right. So those are locked and loaded. That is also one point as well. But moving on to the first question. Number one. Miles will order a bacon, egg, and cheese from the local bodega at some point in the game. I'll let Arachnite go first. Peter got a bagel in uh, PS4. Damn, I didn't think about that. You're right. There's already, like, seeds being sown in, you know? Hmm. Is Miles a bacon, egg, and cheese guy? That's what I'm trying yes. to think. Is, Is I, feel like, yeah. I feel like he would be. I, I, I feel like he would be a bacon, egg, and cheese like, gentleman. I, I am a bacon, egg, and cheese gentleman. Like I, I mean, too. I mean, who's Hello not? style, though. Yeah. Who's not? Oh, so you like the Canadian bacon? I feel you. I feel you. I, I like a classic. Yeah, bacon. classic. Bacon. I, like I will. I will. Bacon. I will gladly take my pork. You know. Yeah. Shout out to all the Muslims, but I will gladly take my pork. Shout out to all the Muslims. <laughs> big ups. Big ups. Hmm. All right, then. What are you saying? You think that he's gonna? I mean, because we have seen Do him around see bodegas him order. already. Do we see him order? Yes. Then no. wait. What? He's like he walks in in like. It, he walks in and orders it, and I don't know. I don't. I don't see something like that happening. Okay. So okay. I'm gonna lock in a no. Okay, you're on no. Okay, all right. Like if if it's I'll just like a it. if it's just like a passing of time cutscene, like Spider-Man PS4s was, like where he was waiting outside a feast with a bagel and on his phone. Yeah. If see see. Billy, this is where the bets episodes get intricate here, right? It's because I wrote Miles will order a bacon, egg, and cheese. So, in theory, if we hold this as the true word, right, of the bet, that means that this if is Miles is seen, him. yes, if Miles is seen in front of his house with a bacon, egg, and cheese, Arachnite wins. If we say yes, because we didn't see him order it. <laughs> Locking in and no. You're all. Oh, I'm gonna go with yes because I feel like this will be a way to set up the the vibe around his neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Like in the intro, we see him going to find a local shop to get some groceries for dinner and stuff like that. So I think that th this will be a nice way to bridge, you know, how we have Miles, the Spider Man game, and how he's gonna learn Harlem, his new home. You know, I feel like that's not gonna happen. And just to hurt you, his mom's gonna bring him home a big nigga cheese. Oh, I'm gonna fucking flip. Oh, I that that'd be painful. Like, I you would, know what? I would honestly, <sighs> I would honestly be in tears laughing if yeah, that was really. if that was the case. Be, if Miles gets a bacon egg and cheese at some point in the game, but it, we don't see him order it, I'll start laughing like hysterically. Because here's where I'm seeing it. Right, I'm seeing the first time Miles meets Spider-Man, the cat. Right, he's ordering a bacon egg and cheese. Even though I don't think that bodega in the trailer had a kitchen, but I digress. You know what I'm Spider saying? Spider-Man the cat. No, literally the cat is named Spider-Man. Were you not paying attention? I thought it was Spider-Cat. No, that's what the people called him, but when you rescued him, he was like, Spider-Man. You're back, yeah. yeah. Okay. Spider-Man, like, the little cat. And then there was a sign that literally said Spider-Man. Damn, Billy's a fake fan. Okay. But... <laughs> <laughs> but Listen, I, I just took like, what Kevin said out of context, and I nah, pictured Spider-Man the size of a cat. <laughs> but, like, I could see around there where, like, you know, Miles is petting Spider-Man, the cat, you know what I'm saying, Spider-Cat, saying, hey, l let me get bacon, egg, and cheese. Oh, my God, why don't you get this cat? It's so cute, ah, da, da, you know what I'm saying? I think, like, our first intro with the cat could be with him ordering a bacon, egg, and cheese. But... I'm going to lock in a yes for that and also the sake of making it fun. You know, because I'll 
allow for like one or two questions for all of us to be the same on but i want to have a little bit of diversity you know what i'm saying so i'll 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 be out there and take the win question number two is miles morales essential to playing spider-man 2 on ps5 in terms of story this one is going to be hard to judge this is going to be very subjective but i think we can all have a discussion about it on the bets recap episode and come down to an answer you know what I'm saying? I think that we can all do it. All right. Is Miles Morales truly essential plot-wise to playing Spider-Man 2? Or can someone skip Miles Morales and just go to PS5 and not suffer any huge narrative gaps? No. To real, what do you think? No. Sorry. I just like gun. Hmm. Narrative gaps? Hmm. But... They live in the same state, so I would assume there is some impact. There would be some mention of what happened in in Miles Morales, but I don't think it'll be a a big gap. I disagree. I don't know. Literally, Peter Parker is going to Simcaria. Okay. I I feel like there's going to be some significant events that happen to MJ and Peter there because there's literally like a civil war going on. Mm. So, and Peter Parker, his life is all about tri- triumph and tragedy. So, I'm sure something's going to happen in Simcaria with him and MJ. And whatever happens there, like, oh, they're gone, then boom, Harry's awakened back in New York. So, in order to really understand, like, hey, why was Peter Parker gone? Like, what's going on? You have to play Miles Morales. Like, I don't feel like... Anybody that follows the Marvel Instagram page knows why Peter is gone. Yeah. Hmm. It's... It's, um... I don't know. I feel like it'll be important. I don't think it's like a Lost Legacy kind of deal, where if you just want Nate's story, you play one through four. Because this is like, this isn't just, this isn't just Peter's story anymore. What I think is a really good way to compare this is like, okay, would you say the City That Never Sleeps DLC is pertinent to the overall Peter Parker storyline? And I think only one aspect of that I would see, right, is that we see peter being convinced more and more to train miles and then inevitably we see them in the first training session or one of their first early training sessions right Uh, which i guess one could you know if we're coming from spider-man ps4 all the way spider-man 2 i guess that end bit you can infer a lot that that they've trained and stuff like that but y'all get what i'm saying there like yeah i would i think an argument can be made that the dlcs are pretty pertinent to the overall narrative right right it like especially with uh yuri yuri watanabe becoming uh i forgot her name uh holy shit what if she's the tinker no nah, i don't think that's yuri yuri is like a hands-on kind of fighter she in the comics at least so that'd be not like a big jump but like still a jump in character to character yeah like I forgot her name. Like what's oh Wraith. Yeah. Wraith Wraith. I know she's something. Yeah. I looked into that at the end of the game. But Alright gentlemen, where where do we stand? To real. What do you got? I'm locking in Is the it going no. to play? You're locking in the no. Okay. Miles Morales will not be essential to the overall Spider Man to PS five in terms of story. Just because of the stipulation of even if, yeah, you have to know why Peter's gone, you know that because they told you before the game came out. Okay. Okay. You I can find that anywhere. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Okay. Okay. Plus, Peter, Peter getting bodied by Rhino probably, probably does something to his relationship with MJ. So I'm going to go with a probably. yes. I think I might... I think I might end up Loki being yes because like if if you could argue that the DLC is pertinent to any type of degree then I think that a standalone Miles Morales focused game is 
gonna have to have elements that are pretty essential, I think, you know. Even like separated from the actual one of like Peter's face changing, you know. Seeing that first in Spider Man, Miles Morales, and going in Spider Man 2, but okay. All right, we have uh, Tyrell saying no to that question if Miles Ross will be essential to uh, Spider-Man 2 on PS5. Arachnite and TKD saying yes. Next up here, number three. Is the Platinum easier, harder, or about the same in Spider-Man Miles Morales? So we're doing like an eye exam here, guys. Is it better, worse, or about the same? <laughs> All right, I'm flipping the fucking focal glasses. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to see where, where we're at. I will go first this question. All right. Is the Platinum easier, harder, or about the same in Miles Morales? Hmm. I think it's going to be regarded as easier because I think it'll take less time. That's my thing. I think that I think that there's a world where they could evil out. I mean, they could level out and be the same. Once again, this is a subjective question, so we're going to have to talk layer words, and I'll pull suggestions from other people that are well-known in Platinums and kind of and kind of gauge their parameter on what they also think if the Platinum is easier or harder or about the same. But I think I'm going to say easier just because I feel like it's going to take an overall less time to do so, you know? But, Iraq Knight, what do you think? From, from what we look through on the trophy list, it looks like it'll be about the same. Okay. Because... Some of them are like copy pasted from Spider Man PS4, like clear at all the areas, like from crime, like solve five crimes from each gang in each area. Um, it sounds pretty straightforward. It doesn't sound like there are any difficult, like, one of them is like visit Uncle Ben, visit uh, Jefferson. It, it sounds pretty similar, so I'm willing to bet that it'll be about the same. The game might be shorter, but we're going off of raw difficulty, not like time time investment, I imagine. So that's a very fair point. That's a very very fair point you just made there. Like we have to yeah. we have to scale these games to 1 to 1. Like, oh, it's about the same, it's just there are less of them. Does that make it easier? I don't believe so because I Damn it, that's a real fuck, man. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just completely, uh, I just ripped apart your argument. Blew up my spot, bro. <laughs> nah, man, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, nah, yeah, so, I think the only way to have a question like this is that if we scale these games one-to-one. -one. So, if PS4 was an eight-hour game or Miles Morales was a full, full, you know, release, then I think that's the only way to fairly scale these games in terms of difficulty. So... If if we are going to if we are going by one to one, I believe them to be the same. Okay, the right man saying same to real. Let's hear your conjecture. What do we got? We are talking about the original list of trophies, right? Nothing that was additive, right? No new game plus, whatever, right? Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, yes. Okay. Because in the original game, new game plus and all that didn't I, affect the platinum. I want. Yeah. I want to say, harder. Not because any of these trophies look hard. They they're they are all like they're easy. But I just feel like there's more work to do than there was in Spider Man PS4. So I think it's okay. just quote harder, but it's not hard. I like I, this. I thought Spider Man PS4 was just dumb easy. Yeah. I like this. Now we're getting some splits here, my boys. This is getting spicy. Is the platinum easier, harder, or about the same in Miles Morales? TKD answered easier. Arachnite answered the same. And to real is hey is saying it will be harder, right? But I get what you're saying too, and how yours could actually be the outcome as well. Is that like it's not hard, but in comparison to how brain dead easy Spider-Man PS4 is, it's harder. Like there's there's an increase in difficulty, but it's not hard. Yeah. Yes. I. I I feel you on that. <clears throat> Question number four. In hindsight, I don't love this one, but we're going to keep it here. Does Miles Morales get DLC announced by the time of recording? So by the time of recording, let me be a little bit more specific. The bets recap episode. That way we're not waiting months on it. You know? So but, uh, by the time we come back and talk about these bets again, will they announce a DLC for Spider-Man Miles Morales? To real, what do we got? 
Am I allowed to ask when the DLC for PS4 was announced? It was before release of the game. Yeah. Which is probably a big hint. Yeah, yeah I was that was gonna be my that was going yeah. to be my discussion yeah. point. Be- yeah. <laughs> wow. Because the collector's edition came with the season pass. Yes, yes. So it was to our knowledge that we would be getting the three, three chapter DLC season before Spider Man PS4 came out. That Wait. that that is in fact true. Wait, so if we had haven't heard anything, is there DLC at all? I'm I'm voting no. I'm a hard no. Yeah, that's that's that that's a great question. Yeah, I w- so before I started talking, I was hard no, right? Then I asked that question and I was kind of leaning yes, but then I went back to no. I'm go locking in. No. Yeah, go with your gut because I've I've gotten so many questions wrong because I was hopeful. So to real saying no, I'll come to Arachnite. No, what do you think, Arachnite? No, guys, I'm gonna be a fucking asshole. You're okay. gonna you're gonna put yes just just to be contrary. He wants to be here's, different. No. No, but here's Built what it is, different. Guys. Built different. All I said Not me and Iraq, I was built different. All I said was, does Miles Morales get DLC? Did I say story DLC? Did I say chapter based DLC? Dude, I just what said other DLC? DLC? I was like, oh, what, like a if suit. A, if a suit gets a released suit and you count it as that, as I know where you live. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I know exactly but, where you live. But it's not downloadable he, content. It gives it here's to you. The, you don't have to download. Here's, Here's the stipulation. That's not a stipulation. By the ti- DLC is downloadable by, hold content. Hold on. Hold on. By the time of recording the bet, I only have a two week window, realistically. Do you think they're going to announce a new suit for the game within the two weeks that it they come matter. out with the game? You don't I'm have to download a suit as You DLC. don't have to download a suit. You kind of do, but that's. You do. It's, you a, have da- to it's a downloadable. It. No, it's an update. Yeah, it's you, the suits are updates, my guy. I'm, it's a literally download. It's an update, content. but it's not. You're going to specifically download the suit, like you would go download a story extension. So you're saying the suit is part of an gonna, update? That's it's part of the update, yes. but that's just an yes, update. But, that's nah, cap. What? Cap. I don't know. Downloadable. Okay, I, for the for the sake of this definition, is not downloadable for the sake content. of definition, downloadable content. <laughs> Definition, a definition that we can hold ourselves by, I believe, to be something where you need to specifically install for new content. Like, you are specifically going to the store and buying The City That Never Sleeps Part 1 and getting all the suits with it. That is downloadable content. However, something that comes in the form of an update to the game, such as bug fixes, patches, and the addition of a new suit, those are under the definition of an update. Those are, that is updated content instead of new downloadable content. Do, does everybody agree with that definition? I I would. So in the ter- so in the de- in the terms of our definition of downloadable content, I believe the answer is no. Yeah, if they were to release a package where it's like, hey, here's three suits downloaded in the PlayStation Store. Cool. That is DLC. That's DLC. Okay, so we're not counting... Man, fuck y'all. So we're not counting updates as DLC. Yes. Honestly, at the end of the day, I, I, I'm i probably more in agreement with your point of view that like an update isn't a good DLC, but I did want to at least see if I could twist the concept of DLC. Yeah, that's not going to fly here. Yeah, you wanted to twist it. <laughs> Without- you wanted to stop the mail-in votes. Yeah. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> Holy shit, that got a little bit too real. <laughs> oh, sorry. man. Oh, man. Okay, does Miles Morales get DLC announced by the time I'm recording? That's a recap. I... Because uh, it, it falls back to what the right night said, yes. It's like, you want to say yes to this, but you got to really reel it in, you know? This is not what we want. It's what we think is going to happen. <laughs> does Miles Morales get DLC announced? You know what? I think I'm going to agree with you guys. I'm going to say no, you know? Yeah, no. But I, watch them fucking announce some bullshit. I wouldn't be pissed. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. The exactly, the, exactly one hour from now. I'm going to be pissed if they announce some Yeah, DLC well, we got stuff. editing We got editing privileges in the doc. Oh, shit. Just, <laughs> I'll nah, just put it in there damn. for you right now, Kevin. Actually, you know what? Yes, I do think it's going to happen. There you go. You could just put that back there just in case DLC gets out. And that's an hour. Just, no. just cut it in. But yeah, the editor of the it video it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it, if it's if it sounds terrible just just throw it in there 
Oh shit, y'all y'all do have editing privileges on the dock. <laughs> no, <laughs> I we're, we're not gonna mess with it. You can check that. You can check edits. Yeah, but oh man, I don't know, guys. Oh, I'm you were so talking about the dock. I meant, I thought audio would. No, we we are we are honest. We are honest men. Um, At least I am. Yeah, I I'm gonna, you. I'm gonna keep it no. I think that they would want to, you know, heavily put their resources towards the next game. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's it's. I think all full see of ahead on Spider Man Two, after Miles Morales. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I think no. But DLC for Spider Man Two, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Hundred percent. Yeah. Number five, is Peter playable at all at any point throughout the game? Arachnid, what, what do we think? Is Peter playable at all at any point throughout the game? Of course, if we want to be nitpicky, Peter Parker. No. <laughs> right? No. <laughs> no. I think like. Playable? No. Like, well, obviously, I think Peter Parker will make an appearance, but I don't think he'll be playable because this is supposed to be a Miles story. It is. It is. It's. It is. I don't know. It feels like an Uncharted game where you play as Sully for a little bit. Like, it's. I, like. These are. This is Miles' story. I feel like that would kind of take the attention away from it. So and there's nothing that you there's nothing that you can do with Peter Parker that you can't do with Miles. So, like if there's anything that you need to like if you need to, you know, talk to people or whatever. But you could play as Miles in Spider-Man PS4. That's exactly what the hell I'm saying. Like, yeah, like, I don't know. It's this is a shorter experience from all accounts, so it definitely makes it. A more difficult decision to make I don't know it doesn't like because Peter's leaving pretty early in the game right mm hmm yeah so that's a big weighing point for where I feel that it's gonna be a no so you know what it's good it's no this is a shorter experience this is Peter's leaving early on I and you said Peter Parker specifically, not Spider Man. So I'm with no. Yeah, I just feel like Spider Man is more unlikely, but I, yeah, I was mainly going on Peter, Peter Parker. If if it ends up being that you're able to play as Peter Parker, then I mean, like play as Spider Man Peter Parker. Like if we're being very very specific, then. I don't know where the bet ends up with that. I was thinking more Peter Parker. If we want, I could add a stipulation of Peter Parker and or Peter Parker Spider-Man if we want, gentlemen. That that, that, that does broad. increase the chances, but it does. It does. I'm willing to double down. So if that you want to do that, answer. yeah. If you want to do that, okay. yeah. will you, let's well, let's first hear to real and myself out, and then we'll we'll. Consider adding Spider-Man, Peter Parker. But, Surreal, what are you thinking? What do you got? <clears throat> no. Okay. Very easy. I'm going to say yes. I think that with <laughs> having MJ and okay. Peter in Simcaria, I think that they could do some cool stuff there. I think they could start sewing some threads into Spider-Man uh, 2. You know? I think that... I think or, they might do that cutscene-wise. I don't think... I don't think I don't because no side players. They promised. They promised. Guys, developers oh, fucking lie all the they time. To yeah, games. no, yeah, that's that's. They it. lie. They lie. These don't lie. They these lie. Have, they have love in their heart. They okay. lie. No, Insomniac, no, they these don't, doesn't lie. Not nah, these homies lies, will not. lie to preserve the the surprises of their game. They will do that hundred ten percent. Side player you know? missions are not a surprise. But a Peter Parker one would be a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Peter Parker, where you don't get to play as Spider Man. Sounds I feel like that would be hated. Sounds exhilarating. I feel, I feel like that would be hated less than like a Mary Jane one. You know what I'm saying? Come on now, like <laughs> you know. Mary Jane I mean, is like Mary Jane missions are where you when your mom forced you to go to Target when you were 11. 
a Peter Parker mission without being able to play as Spider Man is like staring into a strip club outside the door. He here's where I'm imagining it, guys. I'm. Do you guys recall the seminal film Spider Man Far From Home? Yes, no, maybe. It's a little uh, small. It came out a long film. time ago. Came out a while back. Are we aware of that? I think I might have seen it once or twice. I sleep. Word. 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 I believe it's a Ragnar's favorite Spider Man. Right. It as is. As far as I can recall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Way better than Spider Man 2, of course. Yeah, he um, hates that, that. Dog. I don't oh. know. I don't know what it is that bring, I don't know what this podcast brings out, but. This is, you know, like, this is Road to Cap. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's always, like, some out. hot take or some but, strange thing that usually Deathly says. It's almost always Deathly. <laughs> Arachnite, I, I have to talk about a seminal part in your favorite Spider-Man film. Come on, man. Yeah, where he jumps out of a bus <laughs> and webs a drone. Yeah, that, that part. <laughs> So look, I, do you guys recall Nobody in the beginning? Saw, okay, but look, do you guys recall in the beginning, right, where uh, we have you know, uh, uh, Peter, you know, he buys Zendaya baby girl that fine ass black dahlia necklace, right? And he d- and it's the first time we see a monster that Mysterio is projecting, right? And Spider Man saves the day in his normal clothes. Right, he like uses Spider Man powers and stuff like that. I think that there's a chance that something could go down in Simcaria, a big civil war is happening. I think that we could see a low key mission where we're not playing like full form, but like we're like doing like quick time events of Peter sneaking in webs to save the day in something that happens in Simcaria. But that's P- that's I- Spider Man PS5 content right there. Mm-hmm. That sounds like you- an intro to Spider Man PS5, to be honest. No, I don't think the intro's going to be where he's still in Simcaria, and they... No way. Well, d- like, that's something you can do as, like, a like a prologue. Like, just... Why not make the prologue here? Because yeah, it's like, pro- oh... Put the prologue it, I mean, in Miles Morales and rip the viewer out of Miles Morales' story. It just sounds... What it if, sounds less than likely. Okay, what if Miles is at his lowest point in the main Retweet. game? For Spider Miles Morales, right? Uh, Tinkerer is messing stuff up. Roxxon is just, you know, acting a fool left and right. Miles calls Peter, needs some guidance. Peter does does some heroic stuff while he's on the phone with Miles. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, like I think that there's a way that they could do it while still propelling the Miles storyline. Well, that sounds like something you, know? you could do in a phone call. Like, why... Because switching from character to character does have the possibility of ripping that character or ripping the player out of that immersion. Because like I know it's like if this it's a heartfelt moment, Miles is like, I'm feeling like the end of the rope. I'm feeling like I'm letting you down. And then you just switch to Peter walking in Simcaria or swinging in Simcaria. It's like, hey, yeah, like I know you're doing poorly, but I'm Spider Man wherever I go. So you, I guess, I'm built different. And then he hangs up. <laughs> that's not, that's not what I was different. expecting. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it, it just it just homie. it just sounds like an awkward transition between between like character to character when this is supposed to be Miles' story about stepping up as the hero as New York's only Spider Man. Like, I don't know. I I hear you. I'm gonna go out on the whim. I'm gonna say yeah. I think I think we'll get a little something. something. Number six here. Does Rio Morales, of course, mother of Miles Morales, find out that Miles is the new Spider-Man? Yeah. Why? It's with with Aunt May, like, she always knew. But Aunt May is a different character than Rio Morales. Like, she knew Peter was Spider-Man, and in her dying moments, was like, I, I knew. I always knew. I was worried, but I'm proud of you. Rio Morales could be the opposite, where it's like, I only just found out. Why are you putting yourself in harm's way like your dad did? Be- right. Because I doubt she's... I feel like that could be a really powerful scene that yeah, I don't it's think like, that they want to miss out on. It's like... After everything that I have been through, what would have happened if you got shot and died and they pulled off your mask and I got to see it was my son? Did you ever mm-hmm. think about that? 
also, I wonder if there's going to be some tension between Rio Morales as she's doing her speeches and if she's pro or against Spider-Man or this new Spider-Man, you know? Is there going to be stuff like that? Like, is that going to be like a political platform? Anti-vigilantism? Yeah, yeah. Like, is that a thing? Like, in this Spider-Man world, like, if you're pro Spider-Man or, like, you know, against Spider-Man and just think he's just, like, a crazy vigilante that shouldn't be doing any of this, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I wonder that, too. I wonder. It it definitely would give a lot of, like, drama. It would be, like... That's something that I would like to see, like, because in the comics, uh, Aunt May hated Spider-Man. Mm. Hated him. And then she finds, she goes to visit Peter, who is bloody and beaten and passed out in his apartment after a fight with, uh, I think, more wound. He's bandaged, she's like you know he's bandaged he's broken his like tattered suit is on the ground of his apartment aunt may comes in sees it and picks up the suit and they have a conversation about it and she hated spider-man up to that point because she thought he was irresponsible like the daily bugle had sullied her opinion on him and then when she found out that he was spider-man her opinion changed and then she started writing to every outlet news outlet in new york saying to change their views on spider-man so that would definitely be something interesting and like take an homage from aunt may and put it into real morales like i started out hating vigilantes and now the person that i love most in the world is a vigilante so what do i do with that and it allows for growth for miles and his mom real what do you think i i uh, got something i would like to see before he said before that last point i was i was yes just because of of what i said i think that could be a really powerful moment of of her finding out but i like that even more insomniac please hire me i've read so many of these comics i really want to help write for you <laughs> I well, I mean, to real, are you saying yes or no? Does does Miles's mom find out that he's Spider Man? I think yes. Yeah, I'm gonna say yes too because I just think that yeah, you're right with. I mean, I think right that's super right where it's like that's too good of an opportunity to pass up having that great of a scene, hypothetically speaking, you know. So, I'm with that. I'm with that. Number seven. In a hypothetical Uncle Aaron death scene. So this relies on there to be a death scene. So th- this one, we're jumping some hoops here. You know, this one's going to be a little bit, right? In a hypothetical Uncle Aaron death scene, is he uplifting towards Miles or tearing him down? And do we feel the need to also add another option of, like, it just doesn't happen? Like, you could you could put that as your vote. You know, since it's relying on a hypothetical or... If he never dies in the game, is this question just null and void? What well, do we think? We could do... I don't know. Like... Uh, this one's tricky. Like, yeah. we could do half points, like a split question. Like, do you think Uncle Aaron will die? And if so, is he uplifting or tearing him down? And then if you get... I like that. If you say, yes, he will die, and this is what he does, and you end up being right, then you get full points. If you mm. say no, he won't die. But if you were, this were this is what but, will happen. Gotcha. Okay, half half point question. So I'm putting these. Just I'm gonna bold one of them, and then italicize the other as the second question. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, part one is in a in a hypothetical Uncle Aaron death scene. So does he die? Is what that question is asking. Is he uplifting Miles or tearing him down? Which, if you say no, he doesn't die. You could say, for the for the question secondary, but hypothetically, if he were to die, he would be uplifting or he he would tear him down, etc. Yeah, cool. I'll let Tyrell go first. Tyrell, what are your thoughts on this? We know nothing about this universe, Uncle Aaron. Nothing, right? Except that Am he's the prowler, anything? but that's but that's pretty much it. Um, we know that he's around. 
Rio and Miles a little bit more post his father dying. So there's a little bit of that as well. Hmm. But I'm gonna say that they that they uh, try to show a different um, perspective on him and Miles' relationship than than what was shown in Spider Verse. I think that they'll go more comic accurate from what I remember what Arachnite said in previous episodes. I'm going to say yes and tearing down. Okay. So, so yes, he dies. Or no. So, yes, Uncle Aaron dies? Yeah, yes, and then tearing down. He tears him down. Okay. So, I'm going to bull. Sorry, dies. Roll that, and I test that together. While I'm doing this, Arachnite, what are your thoughts, baby? Hmm. I I don't think he will die, but if you were, I think he'll uplift him. I like this now. Okay, so no, Uncle Aaron lives, right? Yeah. And then hypothetically, he would tear him down. Or did uh, you say uplift? Uplift. uplift. Oh. Oh. He lifts him up. Okay. I have a different answer, so this is going to get interesting. I think that he won't die. I don't think he will die. You know? I don't know. I, I just feel like there's a lot of cool ways that you could use him in this world. Which is why I guess I am wanting him to not die, but... You know, these are bets, so it's like, can't really vote on what I want, but I'm going to do it this time. I think he lives, but hypothetically, I think he tears him down. I think that there's a way that they could, because um, I think that, I think that they got to show a little bit of struggle and then, and a little bit of growth with Miles. And I think the perfect way to do that is to really test him, you know? And see if you can overcome his family with, like, uh, his mom not liking the new Spider-Man politically. Um, and Uncle Aaron turning him down. Like, I think he could use all those negatives and rise above it. And I think that could be a meaningful way to show how much Malice has grown. You know? I, I, I'm along a similar vein, but, I mean, like, how much can one kid take? It's a good point. Death of his father, his Ask mom Peter fucking that. hates his alter ego. Oh yeah, no, Damn. Peter. Like, like it's not, I don't know if I said this last week during the recording or if this was like in our post recording discussion, but to be a Spider Man, like to have like the spider on your chest, you are asking for tragedy. Like it is, you are wearing a kick me sign for life to push you down and to break you in ways that you never thought you could. So, I, I like, from Spider-Verse onward, I'd, I'd always seen Miles as a, like, I'd always seen Miles as the kid that overcame everything through that hope, through his family. Because in Hispanic culture, at least in my life, in my own experience, I'm speaking for myself, family is everything. Like the importance of family and what your family means to you and how they affect you is everything. So to see Miles, like, overcome his father's death and his mom, like, in my, in what I believe will happen, after his father's death and after Miles' reluctant acceptance of his identity as Spider-Man, his uncle lives and says that he finds out his identity because I know he will. And it'll be, we may be on opposite sides of the coin, but you'll always be my family. And then he leaves. And it's like, we may, we may have to fight, but we do it as Spider-Man and the Prowler, not as Miles and Aaron. Right. Damn. So. It's on like, hire this motherfucker. What's good? Hire this man. <laughs> okay. 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 So I guess we will see Dolan. That's that's what I would like to see. Because it adds like a level of depth and complexity to what family is 
and does the cost of being a hero like because Miles like in Spider-Man PS4 that's he idolized Spider-Man and at the City at War comic you see that more fleshed out he idolized Spider-Man he loved Spider-Man yep yep and yep. like yep. when when he gets what he asked for what he wished for maybe he didn't wish to be Spider-Man directly but he wanted to be a part of Spider-Man's world so when when push comes to shove and he's gifted these abilities does he have what it takes to become a Spider-Man does it does he have what it takes to overcome the cost and to to shoulder the burden of responsibility yeah so i i peter has had everything well peter Sorry about no, you're that. good Sorry. peter has had everything taken away from him everything throughout his entire life Mm-hmm. And if we believe that Peter's early life is like the Amazing Spider-Man six one six Earth, that only that only strengthens my point. He has had everything taken away from him. He has had, uh, he he's had like Mr. Lee, Otto, Aunt May, Uncle Ben. He lost MJ for a while. He got her back, but he lost her for a while. He lost his job at Octavius Industries. He has had his best friend Harry is gone. He has lost everything. And the thing that keeps him going is Uncle Ben's words of great power which comes great responsibility and to become greater every day. But that's not who Miles is. Just because he wears a mask, the sp- just because he is one of the Spider-Men, doesn't mean that he gets his strength the same way that Peter does. Because... What, what may strengthen me may break another and vice versa. For example, the garbage truck. Why? Every time I hear him. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, I, that's why I want there to be something that I can relate to. Because, you know, Spanish Harlem, that's like, you know, it's familiar. I want to see the concept of family played more heavily than we could in a Peter Parker story because he has no family left. I see. That's I that's see. why I'm really pushing for it. Like that's why I really really want to see something like that. And I hope we get it. If not, I understand and I'm sure they'll do great with whatever route they go, but if I were to write a Spider-Man game, if I could write Miles Morales, this is the direction I would go. Very, very interesting, gentlemen. Very, very interesting. Question number eight. Is there a Gwen Stacy reference in Miles Morales? I think this one's going to be pretty open. I feel like... The, that's, did I spell it with a Q? Mm-hmm. Quen Stacy. Indeed. Quen. Queen is Stacy. Quen, is there a Queen Stacy in the room? A Queen Stacy? Okay. Is there a Gwen Stacy reference? I think this one's going to be pretty... Uh, you know, uh, not specific. We could see her. We could hear about her. You know, she could be a full-blown character in the game. I think that we're going to leave that one pretty open. So, is there a Gwen Stacy reference in Miles Morales? To real, I will let you go first. You know what? Let's have some fun. Yeah, why not? Yes. Mm. Mm. Yes. I think she's referenced in some way. There we go. Easy as shit. There we go. There we go. Arachnite, does your thoughts differ from Tyrell? Yeah, no, I, I I mean no, I agree with him. I Gwen uh, for Spider Verse, like the comic Spider Verse, and really changed Gwen Stacy, like when you think of Gwen Stacy ten years ago, you thought of Peter Parker, Peter Parker's first love, his greatest failure. The death of Gwen Stacy changed the golden age into, or like I believe it was like the silver age of heroes. I, I it was either the silver age or the golden age, but it was one of those ages of heroes that shifted it from lighthearted superhero action, like. Spider-Man saves the day and beats up Doc Ock, and that's the end of the story. There was obviously emotional depth to it, but it was never anything too heavy. But then we got the death of Gwen Stacy, and the resulting actions from that point forward. 
And now we think of Gwen Stacy as a Miles Morales character due to their romance that is much more popular than Peter and Gwen's was. And along with what we the hints we saw in Spider-Man PS4 with Norman Osborn and his coming to be of the Goblin, I feel like Gwen will have a part to play. So... Okay. The best way to really solidify that is to have Gwen be established in a smaller role, become somebody more important in P- throughout the course of PS4 or Sp- Miles Morales, and then if Norman Osborn is to become the Green Goblin in Spider-Man PS5, then we already have an emotional connection and stakes are made. Like the stakes have been established because this is an important character to Miles. And whoever's important to Miles is important to Peter. Mm. Okay. I get two into gonna... Spider Man. Sorry. No, 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 no. Please, dude. By all means. I I think I'm gonna say yes. Just just because I think like, you know, there's a lot. It's essentially like you said, right? Like there's a lot of buzz behind Gwen from Spider Verse, right? So I think adding on to that, where were they bringing on the suit? from the movie, you know what I'm saying? Like, which is obviously a given, but, uh, I think Gwen's a lot more tied to Miles in recent years after Spider-Verse, right? So I think a lot of people are anticipating seeing Gwen Stacy in this universe. If Miles is so heavily focused on that, I think it's going to work out. I think, I think it makes a lot of sense for, for there to be a Gwen Stacy reference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I digress. Number nine. Caller number nine, hot on the hotline. Number nine, does a brand new Daredevil... What the fuck? Referent? Reference. Referent. Does a brand new Daredevil reference get made at all? So this is specifically excluding the Jim, Nelson and Murdoch cards and advertisements, and Josie's Bar. So, is there any other reference made to Daredevil in spite of those three things? Arachne, I will let you go first. Yes. Give me give me what I want. Okay. Uh, see, that's I, what I was about to say. I was... Oof. Like, Here's uh, where what I want conflicts what I think will happen. Daredevil has such an immense world. He does. Around, like, around him. Like, it doesn't need to be overt. Like, there, there don't, there doesn't need to be like a direct reference, like oh, the Devil of Hell's Kitchen. I like you leave like a cane somewhere, like a cane and a broken pair of like his glasses. That's all I want. Just let me know that Matt Murdock is out there as Daredevil, like just, uh, like just a crumb, please. <laughs> A crumb. <laughs> Just a crumb of Daredevil. Like, I I don't know. I, like, I I want it. I want it. I'm, if, if Christian Buckley, shout out Joy Clicks. You to the comments out Joy Clicks. Thank shout you. Out if he single-handedly, I said this last week, if he single-handedly can bring back the dead and buried and turned to ashes Prince of Persia series. I can, I I can get a Daredevil game. Mm. Mm. And the foundations for that start here. They started in PS4, but they continue here. I want it. I demand it. I will buy both of you a copy of Daredevil if there is a Daredevil game. Oh, let's go. I like I will put my money where my mouth is. Give it to me. No, Thank see you. that's that's what I want. You're speaking all of my thoughts right now. But here's what I what I want conflicts with what I think is gonna happen. I'm gonna say no. Pain. With, with a heavy no. pain in my heart, I'm gonna say no. No with a heavy pain. Okay. So there will be no new. I mean. I'm going to say no for a very, very different reason than, than I think both of you guys. I think after hearing, you know, a right night's point of view on how Daredevil and Peter are very much friendly, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think that 
I would like to see him in Spider Man Two. Doesn't have to like a reference. You're like, right. Is is my example of like a cane and a broken pair of glasses a reference? Yes, absolutely. I mean, if it's clear, and again, if it comes down to it, we'll bring it up to the discussion and we'll talk about it. But it it, it has to be like overwhelmingly obvious that's Daredevil. Yeah, which I think all of us will be able to defer. Like that. Like yeah. 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 So the Fogwell's gym. Nelson and Murdoch sign and business card in Josie's bar. Are, do not count. Do not count. So yes, do not count. Still, I stand by what I said. Like yeah, it, it doesn't need to be overt. Just, just give me like a like in an alleyway, just a cane and a broken pair of glasses. Or there's a lot of uh, murals in Harlem. Maybe there's a mural of fucking Daredevil, like literally, you know the savior of hell's kitchen or something like that you know what i'm saying yeah that could easily count and then he could easily win that bet absolutely yeah and then i'll scream i think that's your best bet i think it's gonna be a mural i'll well, see that one Since, I, i'm still happy if i lose that one yeah yeah i mean i'm 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 happy to lose it too but i think the best way i see it happening without daredevil actually being in the flesh and you know popping up now and again in the suit, which would be fucking crazy. I think it's gonna be murals, where we'll we'll see like you know the savior of Hell's Kitchen, uh, uh, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The it, devil of Hell's Kitchen, whatever. If yeah. if it doesn't if it doesn't exist already in Spider-Man PS4, it is fair game. So I stand by what I said. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, I forgot Number about question ten. Ted. <laughs> Number ten. This one's this one's <laughs> gonna be fun. All right. So, uh, y'all listening, you're gonna need li- you're you you might need to keep up with the sauce that we're about to spit. Oh god. All right. We're gonna try and you know describe it, but if you don't know, you're gonna have to figure it out. Okay. Question number ten: Is Haley quote for the streets unquote by the end of the game or not? Yes. Do we need to break down what for the streets means? For no. those that are not aware of the sauce, <laughs> no. I, if you don't we, know, if you don't know, now you know. You're you're too young. <laughs> I believe in a fair discussion, we should clear a definition. And, I believe so as well. And who okay. better than to <laughs> Buckley? I will, I will take this. I will take this honor, fellas. I know All you're right. listening. Absolutely. I'm not talking to you two. I'm sorry. I'm talking to the fellas oh. that are in the audience. Okay. I apologize. All right. Okay. All right. Kicked out. So I know you all got of the you. Tension. <laughs> I know all of you have current stitches, healing stitches, healed stitches, or stitches that are about to happen in your heart from oh, a female. Damn. damn. About to happen. Damn. Holy shit. That female is for the streets. Mm. When she disrespects you. For the streets. Mm. When she cheats on you, like she inevitably will. For the streets. When they lie to you, for the streets. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Okay. Okay. So, the book of it's a. Essentially, you know, to have an overall thesis statement, right? It is a woman that, upon first impression, upon first early inklings of something growing, that she could be really for you but then it comes to pass over the course of time that she perhaps is not for you and more for everyone Mm -hmm. hence for the streets indeed you know what i'm saying if 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 she's not you know down for the ride if she's not committed you know what i'm saying and Haley, of course being our deaf yes female interest okay yes i forgot she's blind or deaf our deaf female interest in miles morales uh they have told us to keep an eye on her that there's more to her story than just a regular side character or whatever um so to real i guess you know going off of your monologue do you believe she'll be for the streets or for miles yes it was a yes it was a one or other I, I was yes, ready to say she yes. Is, yes for like the, the question is, is she for the streets? So she yes. is for the oh, streets. That I'm is sorry. A, that is his answer. Yes, she is for watch, the streets. Watch her just turn out to be like a low key villain, and I win this bet off technicality. What if she's the tinker? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Yo, come on. Like, 
Oh, did I just put that thought into your head? <laughs> what if she's the tinker? <laughs> Wait, what? Like, I don't know. What if she's the tinker? Because we know I the mean, tinker is female. Oh, it's getting she, spicy. She is a female. She is a female. Uh, she is a female. God damn it. Am I about to what pull Arachnite into the into the darkness with me? <laughs> is Haley Am I about to be pulled into the book of misogyny? Yes, <laughs> I will. I will. I will give you the book. <laughs> the, the, you why, read that with the why, why women, women deserve, deserve less? less. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I didn't Arachnite. think about her. Is Haley for the streets or not? Yeah, she's for the streets. Holy shit! <laughs> Wow, Arachnite. Open night. arms, brother. I never thought you would be on that side of the Dude, aisle. it's because, like, that's, like, that's, that's, su like, that's such a good opportunity for heartbreak. Because, oh, Miles meets this girl. They hit it off. She's into him she like he's into her everything's going well he's learning a whole new language for her if he doesn't know sign language then bam she like no one no one will suspect a supervillain of being deaf because if they have conversations with other people so it's like oh that immediately takes her out of suspicion like matt murdoch is blind there's no way he could be daredevil And like if they if they do something like that as like it's like yeah I am blind but or not blind yeah I am deaf but I I designed and built implants that let me hear selectively so my so no one suspects me Mwahaha. here's where I'm at gentlemen right I like how you put a smiley face <laughs> here's the thing y'all. I believe in love. <laughs> I I believe in love. I believe. Look. Yeah, but if we're talking about Gwen and Gwen, if she shows up, she's for Miles. If Gwen is there and she is of Miles' <laughs> age, they are going to date. I I just feel like there's been nothing of evidence to prove that Haley could be potentially for the streets. Then again, I understand that God. most women don't give evidence that they are for the street or not until they are just on the street themselves Jesus, you know man. but i don't know I'm i think Haley's now i think that Haley's gonna be something different i think there's gonna be that seminal f scene in the game where you know miles remixes his mixtape that he was gonna give to her because he he forgot that she's deaf so then he just bass boosts the hell out of all the tracks and she can feel the music you know what i'm saying and miles for God, that she was yes <laughs> yeah, miles forgets that little small detail it's like hey like hey, like how you doing and she just doesn't was like hey <laughs> hey it's honestly tweets honestly bro my girl keeps ignoring me i don't get it man she sees the tweet i'm deaf oh. man. so damn i'm gonna say no i think that Haley is for miles i don't think she's for the streets so well Second we'll bonus question: Do they go to a deaf convention? <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ! <laughs> hey, deaf conventions exist, bro. Yeah, we know, we know, but still, <laughs> I, I'm just saying you can't hold that over me. Deaf can. Yes, we can. Exist. We absolutely. No, can. Yes, exist. we absolutely can. You it didn't is know the they, most random thing. You didn't know I've they existed until we looked it up after the show. <laughs> I assumed they existed. Number ten. Sorry, just kidding. Not number ten. The bonus question. This is going to be a one point extra bonus that, A, it could save anyone. It could destroy anyone. Let's break it down here. The bonus question is this. Will Puddlegate be poked at in the game? I right. Mean, wasn't it already poked at in PS4? Was it? Like, I... Wasn't there, like, in, in the... Like, in the New York feed, where it's like, oh, New Yorks are tweeting about things. It's like, hey, has it been, like, raining less or something? Like, there's a lot less puddles. Hmm. That wouldn't be hard to add. Like, I, I believe I saw it in PS4. Yeah, I just don't know if that... I mean, I didn't look at the feed that much in the game. So, I mean, if it was there, then by all means it was there. But... 
I think I'm gonna still keep the bonus question as is, even though it could just not be referenced as it's ever. I mean, it could potentially not be referenced because it was already referenced as Mario PS4, hypothetically speaking. I think I want to keep it on here. Like, it, will it become world. a staple? Yeah, yeah. Like, maybe it, it'll be like an ongoing joke. Yeah. You know, with the Insomniac games about Puddlegate. Arachnite, what do you think? Do you think we'll see Puddle, Puddlegate in Spider-Man Miles Morales? Nah, Puddlegate was two years ago. They already poked fun in it for the game where it started. I don't think so. Plus, it's snowing. So mm. there, there's no way to organically. Uh, yeah, there's like there's no way to organically like add that in. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't puddles. I don't think they will me? just because they already did. Yeah. <sighs> Damn I would it. love for them you, to though. Yeah, you bring up a really good point in terms of like. It's snowing, you know. Which I mean, like, like it's not like there's no puddles when it's snowing. There's puddles can still exist, but you know, like it'd be like a midday puddle, you know. Hmm. All right, Arachnid, what are you saying? Yes or no? Um. No. No. Okay. To real, Do you have any thoughts? No. No? No. Just because they, they already they already poked at it. I don't think they'll do it again. I would love for them to, but I don't think they will. I'm going to say, yeah, fuck it. I feel like it was too much of a stupid thing that happened that it's, 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 it has to be a very tasteful way to do it, you know? I think that they'll poke at it at some point in the game. So we'll, we'll keep our eyes peeled. We'll see what happens. And we'll see what happens with the bonus question. I guess... Uh, for sake, I guess we'll uh, go down the list one more time. Just lay it out there. Then we'll wrap up here. First up here, meta, meta, Metacritic scores go as follows. Uh, Metacritic uh, 86 goes to Arachnite, 83 for Tyrell, and 89 for TKD. Question number one, Miles will order a bacon, egg, and cheese from a local bodega at some point in the game. TKD says yes. Arachnite and, and Tyrell say no. Is Miles Rouse... Is Miles Morales essential to playing Spider-Man 2 on PS5 in terms of story? TKD says yes. Alright, that says yes. Tyrell says no. Is the Platinum easier, harder, or about the same as Miles Morales? TKD says easier. Arachnite says same. Tyrell says harder. Does Miles Morales get DLC announced by the time of recording of the Bets recap episode? TKD says no. Sorry, all of us say no. Is Peter playable at any point throughout the game? TKD says yes. Arachnite and Tyrell say no. Does Miles Rallis find out Miles is Spider-Man? TKD, no, everyone says yes. In a in a hypothetical Uncle Aaron death scene, is he uplifting Miles or tearing him down? Once again, these are half-point questions, so th this is a two-part question. First part of TKD says no, Uncle Aaron will live. Same with Arachnite. However, TKD says he tears him down. Arachnite says he lifts him up. And then Tyrell says yes, Uncle Aaron will die, but he will tear him down, hypothetically speaking, uh, in a death scene. Number eight, is there a Gwen Stacy reference in Miles Morales? Tickety says, sorry, just kidding. Everyone says yes. Does a brand new Daredevil reference get made at all? Tickety and Tyrell says no. Alright, that says yes. And number 10, is Haley for the streets by the end of the game or not? Tickety says no. Arachnite and Tyrell say yes. <laughs> I just <laughs> 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 the number 10, Puddle Gate will be poked at in the game. Arachnite and Tyrell say no. TKD says yes. We we have a trend here where you two are definitely, you know, doubling up on your answers. Yeah. And I'm the outlier. So I'm getting a little bit nervous about that. L looking back on this, but I'm going to lock it in. Gentlemen, are you okay with the results? I am locked in. Yes, sir. All right. Those are the best of us. So down below in the conversation, let me know what your answers are to these questions. If you play along with us, what are your thoughts? We'll get some of these answers, of course, shortly upon release and when the game is done, of course. Um, but next week, we will be doing Spider-Man Miles Rouse impressions in the game. We will have at least a day and a half to play it before we have to upload the next episode for Road to Miles Rouse, episode 7. Uh, so we will see when that goes up, but it will be impressions. Gentlemen, it's been a great road. 
It does not great. This right? is the last episode until the game releases. Do you have anything you want to say? Anything to let off your chest? And where can the people find you? To real, I'll let you go first. We are days away. I, I it feels like years. It feels like years. That's that's you know. I just can't wait. I really can't. But what I need to get off my chest is that I'm I'm starving right now. And if you're listening to this, the past version of me is about to have a bowl of chili in about ten minutes. Mm. Y'all can find me on Twitter, to real deathly, or Discord in the <laughs> PlayStation Store server. <laughs> Same name, to real deathly hallows. And yeah, that's about it. Oh my god, I'm sorry. My bad. Holy shit. I, I faced the hell out. Arachnet, where can the people no, find you're you? Good. I, was last... about, I was gonna say, enjoy your chili, my man. Um, and any last comments? I am also on the PlayStation Source Discord under the same name of the Arachnite. I am on Twitter at Orly underscore Macias, where you can see me gush about superheroes and comic books and games and all that other stuff. Um, Insomniac, my DMs are open. My DMs are open. My schedule is free. I am I am ready and willing to discuss. Let me in, <laughs> please. I please. I would love to help write a Spider-Man game. He's like that meme of Eric Andre. Let me in. Let me in. Let, Let me, me in. in. No, but seriously, please. Like, if you guys are having any trouble with storyboarding decisions. I have no credibility. I've never written a game before. I have no reputation. Take a chance on me. <laughs> Just hand him a blank resume that says I'm built different. Dude, literally built different. I am I'm built different. <laughs> that didn't sound this confident, I, Kevin. I, no, I, I am not. I'm built, but I wouldn't per se say it's really different, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm ah. kind of a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? Retweet. But a I'm a piece of shit with a dual sense controller, so even more of a piece of shit now since you're just gonna flex again. At the that's, top, like, the top that, and the bottom of the episode, positive. this dude flexes. Like you know, it's like ah, oh, it's it's so hard having this dual sense. Mm. It is so hard to mm. just be Bug in the next snacks. gen already. Mm. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's so hard to be playing these next gen games yeah. on this next gen controller. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like, the fact of me having to put it in my bag yesterday to lug it to some plebs that don't have a dual sense yet. You know what I'm saying, Arachne? You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like... How you gonna... You know? Yeah. It's just, it's, it's just t- it just takes a lot out of your boy. It's just like, Arachne, imagine you paying... You wanna make a new podcast without dude. this dude? <laughs> uh, it's like, imagine paying for bucks next. Like, imagine having... Not not being able to play it early <laughs> mm, with my dual imagine, sense. Imagine paying for bug snacks. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, you guys are buying bug snacks? Uh, don't worry. I I don't need to play it. I, I already played it. Thank you. Hey, I mean, technically, if you're on PS5, you, you don't have to pay for it. You have to pay for, PS, for PS Plus. Technically, yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, well. But this has been the road to Miles Morales, the weekly podcast series about any and all things Spider-Man Miles Morales as we head towards the release of Spider-Man Miles Morales, of course, coming next week, guys. The very next episode in this podcast series will be our impressions. You don't want to miss it. I'm sure there's going to be a lot to discuss in the impressions episode. But until then, and to prep yourself for then, you can catch the show here on YouTube.com to place in source as well as your favorite podcast service every Saturday by hitting the by hitting the anchor link down below to find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Podcasts, Spotify, and any other major podcast service, or by just searching Place in Source Podcast Feed. To support the show, you can of course like and subscribe, as well as become a member of the channel by hitting the join button or the link in the description by hitting that prince tier for one dollar and that king tier for five dollars giving you access to different channel badges emotes as well as shouts and all pieces content just like the homies caleb kaiser iraq knight owen chungi and tapiwa muza much love to the gentlemen supporting the channel you can of course also follow us on other platforms such as discord and twitter down below in the description gentlemen it is the last row two episode until we get the game are you excited, gentlemen? I'm excited. <sighs> I, I can't fuck away. I'm honestly like I'm debating, like just like biting the bullet, getting PS5, playing DMC5, SE, and Demon Souls was like, 
Like, am I really about to, to buy a whole ass console? So, hypothetically speaking, right? If you do, I really want you to walk me down the process of getting a PS5 on day one without having a pre-order. Um, step one, uh, black Air Force Ones. Step two, uh, uh, gloves. Step three, a mask. <laughs> Step four, <laughs> robbery. <laughs> the secret ingredient is crime. That was a joke. I am not committing a crime. I will wait in line. For legal Honestly, reasons, that was a joke. Dude, let's just pull off a heist, man. Like payday? I'm, 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 yeah, let's, 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 let's pull up. You know what I'm saying? Payday 2 DLC. You have to rob Sony to get a got PS5. A, <laughs> hey, Arachne. I got a big shot cancer <laughs> putting together a crew. You win? <laughs> what is this? What kind of suicide squad? <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're a it's like we're a suicide squad. <laughs> it's almost I Oh no, go ahead. It's, it's almost like we're a suicide squad. Alright, thank you. It's almost like we're a suicide squad. Suicide All right. squad? Suicide squad. Gentlemen, I'll see you guys next week. Impressions, baby. Let's go. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always. Greatness awaits. I was just—I was about to say, like, what is wrong with you? Well, our recording is going. Decade. Just yeah, both of we, ours are going. We forgot. That was the. I was the only <laughs> well, one. Greatness awaits. greatness awaits. Welcome. Thank you. Your host of Miles just, Morales. I just got. Well, my recording's still going, so shout out to your host, The Erect. <laughs> <laughs>